So today I want to talk to you all about, you know, genetics and how each one of us, our genetic makeup is slightly different. All right. Even more so to the point where most people can genuinely fall within three main categories as far as their body type is concerned, right? Either they fall within these categories or somewhere in between, okay? So the first one I wanna to talk to you guys about is an ectomorph, okay? Now an ectomorph is someone that's genuinely, naturally skinny, right? No matter how much they eat, no matter how much they do nothing, they tend to maintain this extremely lean physique, extremely slim physique, right? Uh, this is what you would call the ectomorph. They have a very fast metabolism, right? It really doesn't take much at all for them to maintain this, this what seems to be uh, uh, an infinity of slimminity, right? So uh, that's, that's a ectomorph, okay? So the next body type that generally most people fall into is a mesomorph. Okay, now this mesomorph body type, it generally is someone who's broader, all right, wider frame, uh, uh, you know, just just generally it's easy, real easy for them to put on muscle mass. Even when they're not working out, right, they still seem to be somewhat stocky, somewhat, you know, have some type of muscle tone to them. This is what we call a mesomorph. They have a very athletic frame. Right. Uh, and, and honestly, this is the category that I kind of fall into more of this athletic body type where I was 205 pounds as an eighth grader. Right. As a, like a 13 year old, I weighed 205 pounds. Right. And today I weigh 225 pounds. Right. So I'm only 20 pounds heavier now than I was when I was in the eighth grade. Right. So that's just something for you to put into perspective. Right. Uh, in the last Body type is an endomorph, okay? Now these endomorph body types, they're generally rounder. They're generally, they carry around, you know, a, a little more weight. Like it's kind of, it's, it's harder for them to maintain a lean body type or to, you know, uh, maintain uh, muscle mass, you know? They've always just generally been your, your bigger types, right? If you're an endomorph, right, it may be really, really difficult or next to impossible for you to achieve the physique of a ectomorph, right? But an endomorph may can go down to being somewhat of a, uh, a mesomorph, right? Or ectomorph maybe can go to somewhat of being a mesomorph, okay? But at the same time, uh, an ectomorph may not be able to achieve the same level of greatness when it relates to your physique that a mesomorph may be able to achieve, right? Just because the body types are, are, are different. They're not the same, right? And I just wanted to say that, man, because I had someone the other day, you know, basically say that, man, I've been training for, you know, 50 some odd years and I've never been able to achieve the level of physique that you've been able to achieve naturally. So it's impossible that you're natural. You know, and I understood what Buddy was coming from, you know, and I get it because maybe at one point in my life, I probably would have thought the same thing, you know, but with the understanding that everybody is different. I equate it to the likes of, say, like a LeBron James, right? He's six foot eight, like 250 pounds. Like naturally, from a genetic standpoint, he's going to have the upper hand when it comes to playing basketball, right? Just from a simple genetic standpoint. He's already has the tools that's going to allow him to be dominant playing on a 10 foot rim. Whereas someone like myself, who's only 5'11", right, it's going to be, I'm going to be met with some, some challenges when it comes to me being able to play the game at the level of LeBron James is able to play it, given his genetic makeup that is uh, in line with the, the, the game. Okay. So, with that said, I just wanted to say that, man, I hope that shed some light on, you know, you guys' perspective and understanding because I think if you can figure out where you fall in one of these three categories, right, you're going to be able to uh, create a workout that's going to fit your needs. It's not what you do. It's how you do it. I'm out, buddy.